Hi, welcome to Gaby's Make Goodies. I am Gaby, and today I'm here with a finished object video on the Cardi V neck by Ann Bitzel. Um, yeah. So, let me show you the whole sweater. Alright, so, it is a beautiful sweater, and I will tell you a little bit about construction and the yarn. So, Cardi V-neck is a soft and fluffy sweater with a simple and sophisticated honeycomb cable pattern. So, hopefully you can see that. There is a cable pattern all over the entire garment. Sleeves, body, front, back, the whole thing. The sweater is worked from the top down, first the back of the neck is worked, then the back section of the yoke is worked down from the back neck edge. So if you can see this, the little ribbing neckline is actually the first thing you do. And then you work down from there. And you can kind of see right here. That's where you start working the front section versus the back section. So it's worked down from the back neck edge. After this, stitches are picked up and knit along the back shoulders for the front section. So here, up. The back and front are then joined at the bottom of the armholes and the body is worked in the round to the hem. So you knit each of these shoulder sections to about right here where you split for your deep armhole. Finally stitches are picked up along the armhole for the sleeves and the sleeves are worked in the round from these to the cuffs. So it is a seamless construction which is nice and it's, um, it's fairly interesting because you pick up and you do it, it's just a little different than some of the other seamless, um, like rounded yoke constructions. Um, in terms of the pattern, I knit a size medium, and um, but I only used two strands of yarn instead of three. The pattern calls for a wool yarn held with a kid mohair silk yarn and then another kid in mohair silk yarn, all three held together. I just did a fingering weight merino nylon um, buttercream, gave me goodies, as well as the cloud kid mohair and silk, also gave me goodies, my own yarn. And I guess if I had added one more of the kid mohair silk yarns in it, it would be even thicker, but if you've ever worn mohair, it's pretty warm. And I am on the east coast of the USA, um, in Virginia, and I don't need anything like super, super warm, like 90% of the year. So um, I definitely did not need an extra layer of mohair in this. So yeah, I just did the two yarns held together instead of adding a second strand of mohair with the wool in the first strand. Uh, the only other modification that I did was the length. I shortened it by about 4 inches, um, 10 centimeters, from the medium pattern size. So if you look at the pattern, her sweater hangs probably about right here. And so it covers her backside and it comes to about right here in the front. I wanted to wear this with like jeans and stuff and so I didn't want it to be quite so long. I wanted it to be big and cozy but not like bordering on a, I didn't want like a full tunic. So I shortened mine by just a couple of, about four inches I guess. And I really like where it sits because it's plenty long, 
to cover like the waistband of any of my jeans. And I don't have to wear like high waisted jeans with it or anything like that. But it's not so long that it looks like a tunic. So I really like that. And I think kind of just the way it's constructed, it tends to hang a little lower in the back than the front. It doesn't have short rows or anything like that to make it longer. I think it's just kind of the way the neckline is and the construction, it tends to hang a little longer in the back. Um, a little more about the neckline here. So like I said, you start with that neckline in the back. You have stitches that are held live on the sides of this little ribbing rectangle that you make and after you've done your back when you knit to do your shoulders and up and over you actually pick up those live stitches and then you start working this little ribbing neckline as you go so once you're finished with your sweater you're totally finished there's no neckline to pick up and then knit which I personally really like that because I don't love picking up stitches. And then it has this nice little fold over part right here, which I did reinforce when I was weaving in my edges just to make sure it didn't, um, didn't have too much strain on it. You do have to pick up stitches on your sleeves. So in addition to this little decorative ribbing here at the neckline, and then it has this little folded over part here. You have your pattern and then you have a little ribbing type thing here or little knit stitches rather here and you pick up stitches right there along that little knit section. And I like the look that gives. hard to show when it's all light. Hopefully it comes out better than it looks like it is. <laughs> what else can I say about it? The sleeves are huge. <laughs> I didn't knit the size medium, um, which maybe maybe a small would have been good, but I like I like the width of it and it is to the pattern medium size width, um, which is 120 centimeters. And so I like all of that positive ease there. I wouldn't change that at all. Um, now the sleeves, I like the big sleeves. The only thing I may have, um, would like to change slightly in this pattern is just the big cuff. It's supposed to have a big cuff, but I kind of wish that it, um, like cinched in at the cuff just a little bit more so that it was I guess more practical for wear because if I'm at home doing things or I don't know if I'm busy with my hands I, it sometimes the big sleeve kind of gets a little bit in the way whereas if you left the volume here but cinched in here just a tad more I think that that would be a little more a little more practical and I'm toying with the idea of maybe using a little bit of elastic thread or something and doing a few rounds of that in my ribbon cuff to kind of bunch it up not so it's tight but just so it's closer yeah I don't know might do it might not it is very cozy and snuggly and I like the v-neck because it's just a little different than a lot of my other hand knit sweaters and I think it done in this off-white color it's very um, uh, professional I guess like most people don't think I knit this myself it does not look like you know a homemade garment um, which is sometimes a compliment too. And of course white just goes with everything and I can dress it up with jewelry and it has a nice neckline for jewelry or dress it down. So yeah, I like it and I would recommend it. 
However, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it for any new knitter or beginning knitter because it's got all of these little cables. You can, of course, do them with a cable needle, but it's only a one by one twist of the two stitches. It's one by one cables one way than the other. So you really don't need a cable needle. But um, it is tedious. And it's just big, so there's just a lot of fabric to do, and to do that all over little honeycomb pattern. Um, the other thing that I guess is a little bit special is that the edging uh, on the cuffs as well as the hem is a tubular or Italian bind off. Um, I actually did it <laughs> and I like the way it turns out. Um, it's very uh, clean looking I guess. The only issue with it is if you mess up at all it's not forgiving. And I have this one tiny little spot in the very front that I made a small error and then I tried to fix it and I can still like see it. Although it's not too obvious. But it just just slightly messes up the clean edge. So Italian bind off is not that forgiving. But other than that, I do actually like the way it looks. And um, when you, the row before you do your actual like bind off, it's kind of like a Kitchener stitch. You're slipping like every other stitch in the round before that, which kind of creates a little tightness in the hem. And I think that that kind of, um, it works well at the bottom of the sweater because it, it kind of makes it like curve in just a little bit and I, I like that look in this particular sweater. I think it looks good. I guess it gives it a little bit of structure maybe. So anyways, let me know if you knit the Cardi V-neck sweater by Anne Vincel um, and what you knit it out of and how you like it. And um, I'm sure you will see me wearing this on future podcasts. Y'all have a good day and have fun knitting.